Okay, so we are here with uh, Dan Edward. He uh, is the inventor of uh, this certification. And um, this is a particular moment here in uh, Bergamo, in Italy, because uh, it's the largest uh, group uh, we ever had. And uh, what do you think about, uh, what are your expectations from uh, these uh, days? Um, well, we expect a great course, and we've had a great course so far. For the, we've done four days, this is day four, um, and the course is going really well. Uh, it's a great group, it's the largest group, as you say, it's the largest group we've had on a level two training course. Um, and it's a really strong group, they're very capable, they're very competent with parkour, they're good good coaching experience, um, they're very dedicated, enthusiastic, you know, and they're, they're just a really strong community here in Italy. So um, we were expecting a really good course and so far it's been an amazing course, a very good group of coaches. Okay, what's the difference uh, in, in the different countries in Europe uh, you have seen? What's the level of the movement uh, here in Italy? The level of uh, the community's ability in Italy is very, very high. Um, it's a very big community and, and quite um, got good coverage across the country. Um, and the level of ability and the movement skill generally is really good. We, there's some really good practitioners on this course uh, and some really good practitioners across the country. So we've been coming here for many, many years and, and okay. running workshops and working with the community here. So we know them very well. Um, and yet compared to many other European countries, Italy is actually really, really well developed in terms of its um, in terms of the ability of the parkour community here so it's always a really good fun okay. to come here okay often the um, the movement of parkour is con strictly connected by media to the security um security of the players what what do you think uh, about it is it, is it uh, exasperated this uh, um, attacked maybe often by media uh, um, I think parkour is sometimes misunderstood um, yeah. just because uh, the modern, in the modern world our perception of risk is all, is all wrong so um, parkour is not at all a dangerous activity um, parkour is, a, is actually a way of becoming safer because it makes you physically more capable it makes you healthy, fit it takes away your postural problems um, it means you're not going to be overweight and obese and have all the problems that comes with that um, plus it makes you just generally safer as you move around your environment because you're much more coordinated much more balanced much more aware of your of your body in space so you're less likely to just fall over or fall downstairs and things like that so actually training proper movement skills um, reduces the risk in your life and makes you a safer individual. Um, statistically, parkour is far safer than uh, most of the other major sports. We know from the surveys and studies done in the UK that parkour has far fewer injuries than things like rugby, football, hockey, horse riding. All these things have far more injuries than parkour. So the, the reality is that parkour is very safe practice. People perceive it as, as, as high risk because they don't understand risk and because they, they see what we do on, uh, what, what high level professional athletes do. Um, and they think, oh my God, I couldn't do that. But of course they couldn't because they haven't trained. So um, uh, it's, it's very much about perception of risk and parkour is actually, is actually very safe practice. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. No problem. Okay.